idea of calories because calories do count and our goal is to consume a wide variety of calories. However, weight loss is not solely about calories, right? And you learn that in this course. Well, we took five women all at different weights and this woman was 250 pounds, then the woman 200 pounds and one at 150, 140 and 130 pounds. And none of these women exercised, but they all consumed 1,500 calories of the same food at the same time each and every day, each one of these women. And the first woman we look at is 250 pounds. Because she's heavier, she's more likely to have more lean muscle tissue. She probably burns more calories than someone that weighs 130 pounds. Well, that being said, and they're all eating the exact same, okay, how many days would it take a 250 pound woman eating 1,500 calories to lose one pound? On average, three days. So every three days, someone that weighs 250 pounds can wake up expecting to see the scale down at least one pound. Now the woman is 200 pounds, every four days, she can expect to see the scale drop one pound. Now the woman that's 150 pounds, well, she's not gonna get the results of someone that's 200 or 250 pounds because we all like burn calories differently. And the heavier you are, you tend to burn more calories. But looking just at how we burn calories, the 150 pound woman, it will take her 12 days eating the same food as the 250 pound and the 200 pound woman, eating the exact same food, 1500 calories, to drop one pound. Well, the woman is 140 pounds, we're looking at 20 days. Woman is 130 pounds, we're looking at 40 days. See, 1500 calories for a woman that weighs 130 pounds, that's around the amount of calories she would consume daily to stay around that weight and not gain weight. So again, each and every one of us is different. But I bring this up to illustrate this point. What could this woman that weighs 150 pounds, what could she do to speed up her weight loss results? What could she do to get the results of a 200 pound or a 250 pound woman as far as losing weight? What could she do? Well, I know the answer and I'm gonna share it with you. Number one, she could bring her calories down. See, the first goal with Diet Free Life when you're making your fat burning meals is to make sure as a woman, you consume no less than 1200 calories each and every day. You don't wanna go under that. When you bring your calories down too low, you can find yourself going into what they call semi-starvation. You actually can slow your metabolism when you're not getting enough total calories. And for guys, you don't wanna eat less than 1500 calories, right? And when that's the case, often there's medical supervision. And we're not talking about medical supervision with Diet Free Life, we're talking about a lifestyle, something that makes sense. So if you're getting that minimum amount of calories, 1,200 calories for a woman, then we're in a pretty good place, right? Now, if these women were eating 1,500 calories, like the 150 pound woman, what she could do is bring her calories down 300 calories a day to 1,200 calories. And as a result of that, it's going to speed up the process instead of waiting 12 days to drop one pound, maybe it's gonna be eight days to drop one pound. So what else could she do? Well, she could exercise. If she begins exercising, which I have not asked you to do, if she starts exercising and becomes more active, remember, activity helps burn more calories, then she could actually get from eight days to maybe every five or six days, maybe four days, she could drop one pound. What else could we do? Well, we could sleep better, we could um, walk around and, and, and be happy, build our meals the way we're doing it. I mean, you know, right? So you have a week behind you of how you've made fat burning meals. Could you improve on that? Could you improve on your fat burning snacks? Could you improve on your drinking more water? Because if you're not getting an adequate amount of water, your weight loss is slowed. So by drinking an adequate amount of water, meaning that your urine is closer to clear than dark yellow, then that helps speed up your ability to drop the pounds. So there are things that you can do that only you know. That's why it helps to journal because you can go back to your journal and look at your fat burning meals, do that evaluation and go, man, my fat burning meals are not where they could be. So let me tweak them and make them better. My snacks aren't where they could be. Let me tweak them and make them better. I'm not eating every two to three hours. Let me tweak that and eat every two to three hours. Those little bitty tweaks can give you huge 
results. And that may be...